Okay, we are back. This is secret number three. Although I didn't give you a hint in the last video, I believe I gave you a hint in the email. So, secret number three, the dye industry ultimately doesn't want you to be successful because they want your money. <laughs> As I said in the last video, the dye industry is worth billions of dollars a year. We're talking $72 billion in the US and $7 billion in Canada. Those are big, that's a huge, huge industry, right? Yet, yeah. as I mentioned in the last video, we've got an obesity and an overweight epidemic going on in all of North America, not just in the States, but in Canada as well. And here's another stat. The stat is, I believe in the United States, it's almost 79, 69 or 70% of the population has a weight problem. In Canada, we're not that far behind. We're at about like 67, 68%. Not a huge difference, right? We're talking more than half the population has a weight problem, which also means they have a body image issue as well, and which also means that, uh, hang on, it also means that people are unhappy with themselves. And here's another stat. 91% of women are unhappy in their bodies. 91%, that's nine out of 10. These are staggering, staggering numbers, right? As I said, um, yeah, it's, you know, our culture is changing over the years. I just turned 51 uh, in 2021, 2020. You know what, my mom was right, when they get to a certain age, you don't even remember anymore. But yeah, you know, lots of processed foods, as you can see, people are getting busier in their life and in their in their life with family, with house, with career, and they don't often have time for self-care or even self-love for that matter, because you have to have self-love to have self-care, right? So all this processed food, and the thing about food is when you're eating all this fake food, packaged foods like pizzas and macaronis and cheeses and all this high intensity foods is that when somebody with someone that's coming off of eating that those types of foods and then eating fresh fruits and vegetables there's like no flavor over here and they're like that tastes terrible that's because you're so used to this fake food that it was really intense in flavor and that's the biggest problem and it has an addictive quality to it all this packaged food i pay a lot of attention to what i put in my mouth and what I've noticed is I can tell the addictive quality in a lot of foods that I've eaten over the years. Pop is one of them, particularly Coca-Cola versus Pepsi has more of an addictive quality. Things like chips and cookies and candies and stuff like that, they all have an addictive quality to it. Even things like coffee have an addictive quality to it. And those are just a few of them, but there's so much, they make it on purpose to be addictive, right? So that's something to consider. And um, yeah, we've gotten busier in our life and yet more sedentary at the same time. And, and as well, and I tapped onto this uh, back in video one, that we're using food as a source of comfort and also as a source of reward. And this might be going back to your childhood, how your parents rewarded you and comforted you with food. And perhaps you might be doing the same thing with your children as well, right? You don't wanna use food for comfort or for soothing of any sort whatsoever. Food is for nutrition, it's to, it's, for, it's to satisfy the biological hunger and nothing else. It's not gonna solve any other problem other than that, however. Okay, so, yeah, and then, uh, yes, and being dependent on the diet culture is another big one, right? Being told what to eat, not to eat, as opposed to tuning into your body, we covered that in day one. Yeah, and that in diet culture is basically telling us that we don't deserve to be happy unless you're skinny like this, unless you're a size two or a zero, which is really unrealistic for the most part, right? And reliance on the diet culture for weight loss. That's another big one for women. And also you're being told how to feel in your body based on your ability to, uh, to follow the rules and also how successful you are at following the rules and therefore losing the weight that you want, which is totally not true. Because the diet culture is really about one size fits all. And we know that we are all individuals with individual circumstances that are different from me to you and to your neighbor, to your friends and so on and so on. And, and, and the diet culture doesn't take your, your circumstances into consideration whatsoever. 
So ultimately, the dye industry is a money maker. That is it. That is it. So don't get sucked in. Start thinking about what you're eating. Start thinking about what you're buying, right? And this is a big learning lesson. And trying to, and it's really about awareness, awareness about what's going on outside of you, what's going more importantly, what's going on inside of you. How are you feeling? How do you feel in your head emotionally? How do you feel physically? How do you feel spiritually? Because when you think about health, it encompasses all three of those: physical health, emotional health, which is also mental health, as well as spiritual health. But we tend to focus only on the physical health. So you've got to encompass all three of those to be healthy. And what does healthy really mean? Healthy doesn't mean 100% healthy. Healthy means making choices that allow you to feel good about yourself. So if you're making choices that don't make you feel good, it's time to change those habits and being aware about how you're feeling. All right? So that's secret number three. And for, I do have one more video I want to share. And the reason why I want to share one more video with you is what can you do about all this new information that you learn today, right? Because first things first is you got to ditch the dye culture. And that can take some time. And it's really about understanding what your belief system is about yourself and about the dye culture, how reliant you are on the dye culture, how you've been, what's that, influenced, influenced by the dye culture. All right, so stay tuned. I'm just looking to make sure that I've covered everything. And stay tuned for the next video, and I'm going to tell you exactly what you're going to do with all this new information that you just learned in these three videos. All right, stay tuned.